Hi guys! Welcome to my Samba Art Productions channel with the S in the end. Um, so this is my official How Draw channel from now on and I'm continuing on drawing tips so this is lesson number 11. Hopefully I just finished lesson 10 so I'm gonna scan it a little later and put them on uh, my DeviantArt account in scraps or in a in a, I guess a folder called drawing tips just go there and check it out you'll see all the previous stuff and I'm also gonna update the drawing tips videos with the links of the uh, written lessons so um, sorry about that uh, anyways I want to show you a uh, this which is the body in blocks and I'm gonna start working on the first upper half of this as in blocks and maybe in another video I don't know we'll see how long this video will go I will show you how to draw the upper part in perspectives but first I want to finish how to draw the body in the general positions with blocks you might see this, you might not get it, so I'll take it part by part so you guys can understand. A little bit later, I'm going to be introducing to you the perspectives and how you can draw the person from where you're watching him from up or down because it is a bit complicated at the beginning, but after a while you'll get used to it. So moving on, I will start by dissecting, as I said, the upper half of the body. I did in my previous video the head position, which isn't really hard to follow because you have a common, uh, just common positions here and there, and they're really easy to learn. Uh, but now I'm going to work with this part. I'm starting to draw just ahead and gonna show you from the front of you. Uh, let me first look for something a little bit darker because this pencil is kind of light. I only noticed this now. <laughs> so sorry about that. Ah, I found a 4B pen. This will be good. So first I will start by drawing the face. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. And I will do some indication lines because I usually like to do some lines before I start putting my blocks to kind of show what kind of position I'm drawing. Now I'm starting to draw the rib cage here, which is for some reason I like to do. It kind of helps me understand more how this guy will look like in the end. So um, as I said, I'm starting with blocks. Remember the body of a male from the upper part usually is more buffed up from the butt area. So I want you to keep that in mind. This block right here is, and we're gonna come over here, there's really like a circle, but since I'm talking about blocks, we're gonna just include that in our own little block right here, like this. And I am going to draw another block. As I said, the butt area is smaller than the muscle area. I might did that a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, here it is. And I'm going to put the arms, giving two points over here to kind of help me know where the shoulders with the arms are connected and I'm drawing the arms and the arms of course is divided and I'm gonna be dividing it like this as you see I'm drawing in blocks so it's cool to have the arms looking like this and nothing really about the hand. The hand is going to be in another video alone. Now, in case of someone, pe people wondering, usually this part here is smaller than this part. So just to be, you know, uh, sure that you're not drawing, because I did a little mistake here, that you're not drawing this part wrong, uh, bring a ruler or something, and it's usually not that big of a difference. Uh, usually, um, you would say, I would say that this part is equal to 3 over 4 from this, almost a bit, maybe um, 
four over five approximately so I'm measuring it up and yeah well it's about right this one is about five and uh, five and a half centimeters and this one's about five centimeters close I guess and after a while you'll start to sense this whether it's right or wrong but anyways usually I will give you some lines to make it easier for a guy this is the chest area and here's the six packs usually it's about the half of the six packs where so I made a mistake after all <laughs> usually it's around this area in which the two lines kind of meet in a way I kind of take it like that that it's around right here yeah about like this where it all sort of starts about I wouldn't say exactly the middle of the uh, six packs a bit above the middle just a bit and that is how you draw the upper part of the body in a weird blocky way but how about a three-quarter view as I you know I did this in a slow way because I want to explain to you everything in details but now that you've got the picture there is no need for me to explain the proportions anymore but I will start explaining the block process. Okay, so here is, remember this is three over a quarter of you, so. Supposedly this is the neck, right? This is the three over a quarter of you side of the neck. Remember, the body is rotating, so there are some parts that will disappear and other parts will start to appear. So you gotta keep that in mind. And the position I'm drawing in general, I'm doing this indication line over here. Show me or to kind of divide the body. This one is a very common three over quarter view, but as the body rotates more, as more parts start to disappear and other sides start to appear, I will show you that now. But let me show you first the very quick way to draw. Okay, here is, this is less than that, okay? And because this is a three over quarter view, we have this little part to show, which is part of the back. This is the front area, the chest, the six pack and everything. It here will start to show a bit from the back, from the area in which covers or the arms cover up that area. Um, I guess you could say the area that if you rotate the chest, you'll start to see the muscles right here. and three over a quarter view, okay? Now for people who have some hard time imagining where should I put the arm on the other side when this guy rotate, why not add the block side from the other side like this? So in a way, instead of you know finding it hard to imagine or you're having some hard times where to pinpoint where the arm should exactly go, it would be much easier like this. So I'll start pinpointing where the arms is. Now in this position, usually the arm is also in a bit of a three or a quarter view. Just a bit. You have to be a bit imaginative. Maybe you can use yourself as a model. So there's just this little, you see here a little line? Compared to this, this is really large. Most of the arm is showing, but it's rotating in, in a just a small bit so you gotta keep also in mind that the arm itself sometimes you are standing in a three over quarter view but your hand is doing some other position you're not like standing in a straight view position like this this guy is just a basic model but sometimes the face will be rotated to the other side the hand is doing something else and so on like that so this is the idea of blocks so you'll be able to move every block in the positions you want and put and and just remove and just have lots of fun with it I guess that's the best way to <laughs> describe this now and here is as I said the uh, for people who have some hard time pinpointing where the arm in this position should go see like this and it's about here okay it's about this point right here but part of the arm will disappear 
and part of the other arm or the other side will appear. As I said, this guy is rotating, so parts will appear and parts will not. If I erase that, here would what the result will be. Not the whole arm appearing, just this side, because as I said, he's standing in a front view, and I'm kind of playing around with this front view. Now, as I rotate more my model here, the three block model, you will see that um, how much can show and how much can disappear. So for example, I'm not doing a side pro profile because I kind of showed it. I'm going to do something close to a side profile, but not exactly a side profile. So here we go. You see, I'm putting the line. See where I'm putting it? It's almost the half, but not exactly. This is going to be kind of tough for, for people who are starting, but after a while you'll get used to it. So usually keep in mind that these two lines sort of have to meet together. This is kind of an indication where the body is kind of divided. I guess you could say that. It also helps me to know where I'm directing my body. Yeah. And I'm putting again my cage line. At last, virus database has been updated. <laughs> Sorry about that. He usually does this thing alone. <laughs> okay, uh, it freaked me out to be honest. Um, anyways, I'm just drawing indications of the rib cage, but this is not final. This is just some lines I will erase or edit a little bit later. So here, as you can see, I'm doing the line almost like this. So. If you start to imagine your block in the head, and it will start to move. Because this area is small, I need to make this area small too. Kind of almost close in proportion. So keep the face in kind of a way to indicate the ratio of, of how big an area should be to the other side. And... The more that this hides, the more that the bigger this side part starts to pop off. Here's the other side, okay? The more this area will extend, you see? Now, in my previous one, or the previous picture that I did, this was the area we were working with, but now, actually, it's a bit extended. This is the area we're working with because the guy is starting to rotate, so this part is starting to appear more. Like so. And as I said, the ribcage lines are just an indication that kind of help me where to exactly put the chest area and the rest of the body. But I haven't done the neck or anything. I'm going to show you now in a bit. Here is the neck and I'm also using the same indication line so here is da -da, the neckline here is a little bit smaller and here is more larger and I would say that the ratio in these three areas are equal to this are equal to this because the body is rotating in the same direction and they have like a certain position that's fixed for and not really moving a lot and yeah, now if you start to apply, uh, just keep in mind that you also, this area should be equal to this area. So keep in mind that this time when you are pinpointing the arm here, it will be tucked behind more. Here it will be very appearing, very up. And because we're rotating the guy, there is, you know, there was space over here, right? We're rotating him so that you gotta keep in mind the space does that kind of disappear. So this, the space is there, but you don't see it in front of your eyes. The eyes isn't seeing that space. That's what I'm trying to say. There could be the hand also is rotating. So now in a position like this, the hand isn't usually normal looking. Usually there is also as I said, a block. 
and the block area kind of increased or the side area over here if I erase these it probably would be much easier to see the line which I'm just talking about or the boxing line which I'm talking about see and as I talked here that this box is in the behind and here is where the point of the shoulder will be you won't probably see the shoulder because it'll be tucked mostly behind of that guy because he rotated so all of his body rotated with him so you will only see a small portion of the hand much much smaller than the last one you see if I erase that a little bit so you will see you see the, the this the upper part of the arm is barely showing because this guy is puffed from from the up so he kind of hides I guess the rest of the arm and if you if you wanna or if you have a hard time imagine it imagining it you can as as I said draw it from behind with all the extra cube lines and all that so this is what I'm trying to get to if I do a little bit of details here here is the nose, the eyes is kind of a bit disappearing, the face also kind of changes with, uh, with a position like this, you can barely see the eye, you can see it's going towards the profile I guess. And I'm just really playing around here. I'm just giving some extra details to this weird blocky guy to help you imagine what he will look like after I sort of finished him. Um, so yeah, I don't want to put a lot into this guy because I see that I've exceeded 17 minutes. And I don't want this to drag on more than that, so I'll probably do a part two of this because I'm di I want to dissect every part. So next time in part two, I will show you the down half and how you can draw it in blocks, and then put the two halves together in another video to show you how to rotate the whole body. But I still need to do the hands and the feet and other type of bunch of things to put together. But anyways, I hope you find this method of rotating a body or the upper body like this to be easier. And if you are adding details, don't worry, it will not be hard as you think. I thought it might be hard to apply details and stuff, but no, it became really easy. And I started to imagine things much, much easier with this method. And this is the reason why my drawings are not... Um, I guess they're smooth. They used to have like a feeling that they aren't smooth, they're kind of stiff. Once I've learned how to draw like this, the stiffness problem went away and now all I have, the problem that I'm having is I need to draw more positions like this so I'll have more experience in positions, if you know what I'm meaning. So this is really how to start animating the body, the real animation starts from here so it's a bit confusing but try to imagine try to draw blocks and rotate it in different times you must do this by yourself because if you don't do it what I just said is just going to be something that passes you by you have to try this by yourself you have to try a three over a quarter from the right three over a quarter from the left and just rotate the body and 360 degrees in your head and also on paper you gotta do this I don't want to drag it more than this and I'll see you in another video so take care and stay safe. Bye!